Hi again, guys. Hey, uh, so I had an idea the other day. I've been thinking for the last little while about uh, ways in which I can make the uh, YouTube channel uh, adhere a little bit closer to the blog, right? There are two things I'm trying to do. Number one is I'm trying to make sure that uh, when I put an effort to create something, I get like full amount worth so I can create like a video that I can then also write about, right? In hopes of uh, making sure that uh, I'm not spending hours upon hours creating something that's only gonna end up being a blog post that goes out for free, right? Which I may have done in the past. Um, and I'm also hoping to try to build something that's a little bit more of like a community feeling both in the blog and on the YouTube channels, right? This is nothing that's unique to this channel. This is the same thing you'll see everywhere in social media. Everyone wants to build a community. Um, I've been looking around some of the archives that I have, and I realize that I have a lot of stuff. Like, I have that, you know, that app, a journal pack you can get on eBay, you know, on the uh, CD or whatever. I guess it's a thumb drive today that has every issue. I have that. I also have the full app of innings, and I have a big collection of the old Stratomatic Review, and I also know of um, a number of uh, forums on Delphi with tons of information and a couple of other places, too, that has a lot of information. And I thought, you know what would be interesting to do? It would be interesting to go back and do what I call the uh, replay review review. So what we're going to do is once a week, assuming I can keep this up, we're going to randomly choose a replay project that has been completed from one of these sources, something from one of the old magazines that have been scanned or something from, you know, one of the old uh, Delphi posts or something like that in which somebody has done a project and has come to the end. Now, I tend towards longer projects, so like a little, uh, I don't know, tournament with like eight teams or something might not quite mat, uh, meet the requirements. Replaying a World Series, as much fun as that is, probably is not quite going to do it. No, I'm talking about like a, a major project. I'm talking about something like one of the replays that I'm doing, you know, where you sat down and played game after game after game, right? Try to stay away from projects that are obviously just autoplay projects and instead lean towards projects where the person who uh, was uh, undergoing it went through extensive amounts of time and effort to play a whole ton of games or to play every game and try to get everything done. That's what we're talking about. That's what we want to do. That's the sort of replay that we really want to get into, we want to review, and we want to start talking a lot about. All right. We're going to try to do this once a week. I'll see if I can get a good schedule going. The interesting thing I've learned is I've been looking through and making a catalog of all of the different replays to look at and all the stuff to talk about is that there are a lot. I was worried at first that there wouldn't be enough. Oh, no, there are more than enough. Like There are a lot. The um, APA journal history of replays alone is so extensive that um, I was very, very surprised at it. And we're not talking about the same guys over and over again either. We're talking about a number of people who would do a number of replays, some of which would last like a decade. It's a huge amount of perseverance and it's a huge amount of time and effort and really a labor of love. And it's something that really should be not only remembered and uh, uh, archived somewhere so that people can get to it, but it's something that we should talk about. It's something that we should celebrate. It's something that we should look into, right? There are some projects I've looked at already and others that I'm already aware of that are just unique and different, that are different ideas for a league or something that is completely out of left field we want to look at that sort of thing right instead of just you know coming up with uh, i don't know greatest players of all time on each team and having them play against each other well what if we looked at it differently what if we had uh, all the players divided up based on where they were born or divided up based on star signs or divided up just sort of randomly and we drafted our own teams and kind of threw this together just for fun or whatever right that's the sort of thing that we're looking at. We want to see things that are unusual and usual. Um, and uh, we want to look through this and we want to see if maybe we can come up with some ideas for new projects in the future, right? The, the thing that is most common in the replay community, I'm talking about that traditional replay community, right? Where people are playing games like replay, action PC, baseball, APA, Stratomatic, Diamond Mind, uh, and uh, uh, digital diamond baseball and all the rest, the traditional thing to do now is to come up with your list of transactions and come up with your list of uh, real life lineups and play each game one after another just the way that it was in real life. But that's not the only way to approach a replay. And if you start reading around and you look at what other people have done and you look back to the past of some things, you might be inspired to try things a little bit differently. You might think, hey, that's a really interesting idea or that's a good idea or that's something I didn't think about doing or that's totally wild or something like that. 
And then the other thing is that there are just tons of really good pennant races, right? Uh, so I come into this with um, a bias, especially towards um, APA, because that's what I grew up playing. I always come into this thinking, oh, yeah, the traditional way of doing APA, totally unrealistic. Good teams are way too good. Bad teams are way too bad, and everybody else is in the middle. That's not true, man. That's not true at all. I can point out a number of, say, like 1964 season replays in the National League where, I mean, one of four different teams winds up winning in the end, and it's like really close, like one or two games separate the top three, right? Um, There are a lot of replays like that to look at, a lot of replays that I think normally we tend to forget. So we want to go look at this. We want to look at the replays people have played. And not only that, not only do we want to look at individual replays, but we want to start looking around a little bit too right i i'm familiar with the otp game forms and with some of the projects people talk about there let's go take a look at some of those right some of you might not be familiar with exactly what happens in there so we'll go pick a whole bunch of those and go take a look at them and see what happened see what the project was like see were they happy were they unhappy did you meet your goal did you not meet your goal is it interesting or is it not interesting right and then we can determine that on our own so that's what the idea is i'll Put it to you this way, at any point in time, and I will repeat this, at any point in time, if there's some replay you know about or something that you really want to be featured, like, let me know, and I'll make sure to feature it. I'll have it skip in line. And, uh, you know, just as long as it's available in some format publicly, I need to have, you know, standings and stats to look at or whatever. It's best if you have a story behind it. If you don't, I mean, it's okay. But we like stories. We want to hear about what it was like to play through it. Uh, just last night, I was looking at an old app of journal issue and some guy was talking about, you know, when I started this replay, my son was a toddler and now he's 19, right? You know, that it's finally done. That's the sort of thing that's interesting to find out. How did this replay interact, intersect with your real life, right? Was it awful? Did your wife leave you because you were playing this game too much? That used to happen back in the day. Does that still happen today? I don't know, right? Or uh, was it just something that was in the background? Was it something that came into the foreground sometimes, right? That's the part that's interesting. We want to know the full story. What was it really like to play through this season? So anyway, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think down below, um, and we're going to try to get this um, started probably a week from now. It should give me enough time to get things uh, corralled together and uh, have something of uh, some quality for you guys. All right, I'll talk with you guys later. Bye.